Hey guys, I'm finally able to share some of my wedding details and I'm so excited and there will be an official wedding highlight video. It looks like a movie and I can't wait to post it, but I'm still waiting on the um, final files. But um, this video is going to cover my brooch bouquet, the sparkly thing you saw in the beginning, my dresses, bridesmaids dresses. Um, invites all of that fun stuff and my mom made my dresses and brooch bouquet and there's a wonderful lady mrs. Highfield that did the invites that can also do stuff for you but before we get started with all of the glamorous stuff like the bouquet and the dresses and all of those great things my best bit of advice is to not get caught up in all of that and um, become a bridezilla and you see that show and the brides are going crazy and everything's upsetting them I refuse to let that happen and there may be people that disappoint you and there may be things that don't go quite right and that happened with me but I refuse to let the devil steal my joy that day and I refuse to forget what the day was about and it wasn't just about me and it was about him and our families um, coming together and us becoming one and celebrating our love so that's my best bit of advice but this is my wedding book and all of my wedding details. I planned my own wedding, so I kept everything in this book when I went to go see vendors. So let's start with something all brides should have, a budget sheet. Very important to keep track of the money you're spending. Um, I pulled these things out of magazines like the countdown to help me with things I should have done by like the sixth month or three months before the wedding and so forth. Um, uh, tips on registry and basically things on a to-do list and even little things like this like how to walk down the aisle. Stuff like that was very helpful. I pulled all of this out of wedding magazines but let's get to some fun stuff like my color palette. These are my favorite colors and I've loved these colors forever. And I did um, different shades. I had corals. Some people would say it's more of like a salmon color, peach, uh, like a gold color, browns and tans. Because my wedding was in November, so I still wanted to incorporate some fall colors. So I did have um, brown in there because in my floor arrangement, I actually had um, curly willow branches. So th this is just to give you an idea of my... Uh, colors and along with that were my invites and I absolutely adore Mrs. Highfield. I'm going to post her Facebook information because you can order from her. Um, this is my invitation and it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean she got everything down to a T. Perfect. I mean couldn't ask for more and her pricing was very very reasonable. So this is the um, band from around my invite and um, as you can see everything has the same theme and even I had the same um, D on my dance floor actually and she put stones on it glitter inserts I mean the damask pattern I had that on my table overlay so my wedding the theme was down to a T and she did great work on the invites look at the envelope she even printed this on the outside of the envelope and lined the inside the theme of my wedding was romance and Mrs. Highfield did a great job incorporating the damask pattern that I had throughout my wedding into all of the invitations menu cards cards, programs, reserve table cards, even my um, bridal shower invite. The quality of her work is outstanding and I went to see other people and their pricing was outrageous. So again, I'm going to post her information. But um, just to give you a glimpse of who I went with for decor, Daryl and Company, I showed them all of these pictures and they knew exactly what I wanted because I came prepared. I was very particular. I'm like, I want romance. I'm a shabby chic kind of girl. I love lace. I love romance. I love candlelight, things like that, draping. So um, I basically showed them these pictures and they knew exactly what I wanted. These, these are pictures from the actual venue so that they could see what they were working with for the room. Let's move on to the dresses. My mother made both of my dresses and she also made clothes for us when we were younger. She made my prom dress. She also made Carmen's prom dress and those were just pics of us back at our senior prom. But these were inspiration pics but I wanted something sleek and romantic and this was the inspiration for my ceremony dress. And I will show you pictures of the fabric we chose. And here, here's a shot of um, the fabric. We went to High Fashion Fabric in downtown Houston, Texas. And um, I'll show you a view of the dress that she actually made. This is the dress she made for me. And here is a picture of me in the dress. 
and it was very comfortable and it was made just for me and she also did a party dress for me because I really wanted to dance and the only difference from that dress is that I wanted to add that belt from that dress so she did that for me that's a good thing about having a mother that sews so that's me in that dress here's a closer look at that dress my bridesmaids were Bari J. I wanted them in something romantic and flowy, something that would flatter all of their bodies. And coral looks wonderful on our skin tone. And um, I'll show you some pictures of Tony and Carmen in the dress. There's Tony looking lovely as usual. And there's Carmen, gorgeous as usual. And here's a picture of all of my girls. They all look so beautiful in the dresses. And I wasn't picky about hair and shoes. I wanted them to be comfortable. Um, and here's the brooch bouquet. Guys, this is by far one of my favorite things because it's so special. It holds sentimental meaning because it has my something old, something new, my something blue, my everything my dad bought my something blue i got a little teary-eyed and my mom made it guys my mom made that brooch bouquet she didn't have an instruction manual she saw a picture of one and was like oh, okay i'll figure it out so if you're interested in that i'm posting um email address so that you can contact about that but i also kept the business cards of all the vendors in the back um you know so that i could call them whenever i need to call them as well as i had it in my phone but this was just an overview of the wedding if there's anything else you want me to go into greater detail on guys i'm a romantic romantic type of gal and i love everything about weddings i sometimes i think i should be a wedding planner but uh i'm gonna do a hair video i'm going to do some more stuff about the brooch bouquets and the dresses because i want to give my mom props i did an interview with mrs highfield to show you some of her er her other work like baby shower things she does for uh, birthday parties and stuff like that and also that cinematic video will be posted soon and i absolutely love my wedding highlights and i'm going to share them with you because i love all my subbies so um i hope you enjoyed this video and again if there's something else you want to see more of put it um in the comment section and just let me know and also these pics have been on facebook for a while so if you have not liked our facebook page go ahead and like it thank you guys and be blessed